This one's called Simple Movie Catalog. It basically is a Perl script that actually scans your um, folders for any videos and it'll match it up with uh, IMDB and if it's an exact match then it'll catalog it automatically. So I really do like this program. Um, I would say it's not like 100% accurate but like 90% of the time um, it, you know you do get the results alright. So we'll show you here. Uh, so this is the program uh, you know I already extracted here. Right? The program is just a, a Perl script here and um, the first thing you want to do is to you know edit your config file here so config.txt here so I'm going to use vim to uh, edit it and in here they want you to add like a line per um, path that you want to you know scan so I'll give you an example um, I'm going to scan this one here so I have my uh, videos and upcoming videos so I'll show you the directory and they have uh, these uh, files in here so these are the um, things that's going to scan alright so let's see how this works here uh, I'm just gonna you know type in the path now this one doesn't well you don't have to put the exact path because you can't just put the swiggy line like we usually do uh, you know for home so make sure you type out the whole thing otherwise it won't work so home slash hell yeah slash uh, videos and then upcoming all right so that's all you gotta do if you have more path just add a new one uh, you know each line or whatever and uh, that's it that's all you gotta do if you have external drives or whatever you want to scan you can do that anyways after that save it and to run this uh, you type in Perl uh, movie cat dot pl dash c and then the config file that you just edit all right and that's all you gotta do just hit this and it'll scan um, your directory and it's gonna try to match it with uh, the results on IMDB and uh, we'll wait here so once it's done here you see it, it wrote uh, it to uh, it was this, this movie HTML right and they do have post in here and everything like that so let's say we open our um, let's see into uh, the report folder first so CD into that and we're gonna open well I'll, I'll list it out for you guys but we're gonna open uh, what was it our movie.html and this one is, is what it will generate all right so these are all the are them scanned it or all the TV series that we scanned in it's not a lot but you see that it has all these uh, categories you can search or whatever or filter out let me show you an example uh, that I made with my um, videos earlier with a larger database so let me give you an example of that all right one second uh, let me see here. I'll CD into my. Uh, what the hell did I put it? Um, scripts, I think. Mm, CD packages. There you go. And I'm going to open. Alright, so this is the one I um, scanned it earlier with my uh, my whole drive, I guess. And for the most part, like 90% of it is uh, accurate. Some of them, I, I mean, I don't even have, but they just scan it like this movie and this movie. I, I, don't, I don't even have it, but I, I don't know why they scanned it. So it's not 100% accurate. You can't actually manually type in a movie for yourself, you know, to add it in. Uh, this is just automatic. You, you can't really add in an entry, I don't believe. And the other thing is that it only uses um, IMDB. Like if you're an anime, you know, watcher or whatever, there's really no anime stuff on IMDB. You probably have to go into another database. But um, wish they have that in the future. Anyways, let me show you what they have in here. Uh, let me zoom in here, as you can see. So you can filter out by you know categories or genre or whatever, right? And let's say we put none here, and then just say you wanted to just look for the animations. And there you go, you have some, uh, you know, animation videos here that I have. All right. Uh, let's say we have, what is this here? Drama. What do they got in drama? 
21 Jump Street. I don't even have that shit, but whatever. Um, so yeah, this is how it lays. It lays out really nice. But uh, they do have some different themes also. If you don't like the the black, uh, I mean the white background, or whatever. On top here, they have in the side they have like this black, uh, gray. This is old, and back to white if you want to back to white. But that's how they do that. And they do have some other filters uh, if you want, like you know, say high def only or it's not high def, um, or you say not a serious, not a TV show or whatever, right? Pretty useful. I really like it. Um, it probably needs more database, you know, for other m movies or animes. But uh, as of right now, uh, really convenient. I don't, I don't really like to manually enter the fucking movies like I did with the uh, GC Star program. With this one, it just scans my, uh, you know, hard drive, and uh, that's it. You're done in like, I don't know. It depends on your, your movie stash, right? How how big you have those, and uh, your connection to download all this stuff. But everything is pre-filled out for you, uh, based on you know IMDb. Anyways, if you want to use it, you can go use it. 